The year 2022 was a turbulent one for Scandinavian Airlines, or SCS, the flag carrier of Denmark, Norway and Sweden. The airline faced a severe financial crisis due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the pilot strike, and the bankruptcy filing in the US. The COVID-19 pandemic had a devastating impact on the global travel industry, and SAS was no exception. The airline saw its revenue drop by two-thirds compared to pre-pandemic levels, and reported a loss of 6.5 billion Swedish crowns, $638 million, for the fiscal year ending in October 2022. The pandemic also disrupted SAS plans to modernize its fleet and reduce its carbon footprint. In June 2022, SAS faced another challenge when almost 1,000 pilots in Denmark. Norway and Sweden went on strike over disagreements over wages and cost-cutting plans. The strike lasted for two weeks and grounded most of the airline's flights, causing further losses and inconvenience for customers. SAS estimated the cost of the strike at approximately $10 million per day. In July 2022, SAS took a drastic step to avoid collapse and sought bankruptcy protection in the United States under Chapter 11. This was a legal process that allowed the airline to restructure its debt and operations while continuing to operate. SAS hoped to cut costs by 7.5 billion crowns, raise 9.5 billion in new equity from new investors, and convert 20 billion of debt into equity. However, this plan also meant that existing shareholders would see their stakes diluted significantly. The bankruptcy protection process was not smooth sailing for SAS. The airline faced resistance from some of its creditors, suppliers, and employees. It also had to deal with different regulations and expectations from its three home countries. While Denmark was willing to increase its ownership and write off debt, Sweden refused to inject more money into the airline. Norway, which had sold its stake in SAS in 2018, offered no support. SAS also warned that the bankruptcy protection process would take longer than expected and could last until the second half of 2023. The airline said there was no assurance that there would be any recovery for the shareholders of SAS. In addition, SAS faced stiff competition from low-cost rivals such as Ryanair and Norwegian Air Shuttle, as well as uncertainty over the recovery of travel demand amid new variants of the coronavirus. In summary, SAS faced a severe financial crisis in 2022 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the pilot strike, and the bankruptcy filing in the US. The airline struggled to survive and secure its future amid multiple challenges and risks. It remains to be seen whether SAS can overcome its difficulties and regain its position as a leading premium carrier in Scandinavia and beyond. How SAS recovered from the crisis by increasing its passenger numbers, expanding its network, and investing in sustainability and innovation SAS faced a severe crisis in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which disrupted the global aviation industry. The company had to take drastic measures to reduce costs, secure liquidity, and adapt to the changing demand. However, SAS also used the crisis as an opportunity to accelerate its transformation and prepare for the future. One of the key strategies that SAS adopted was to increase its passenger numbers by offering attractive fares, flexible booking options, and enhanced safety measures. SAS also expanded its network by launching new direct intercontinental routes from Aalborg and Gothenburg to New York, and announcing a new direct route between Copenhagen and Bangkok. These routes catered to the growing demand for long-haul travel and strengthened SAS's position as Scandinavia's leading airline. Another important aspect of SAS's recovery was its focus on sustainability and innovation. SAS committed to achieving net-zero carbon emissions by 2050 and submitted its emission reduction targets to the Science-Based Targets Initiative for review. SAS also generated clean energy from its solar farms, diverted waste from landfills, and earned ENERGY STAR certifications for its buildings. Moreover, SAS used its analytics expertise to improve its operations, optimize its fleet, and enhance its customer experience. By increasing its passenger numbers, expanding its network, and investing in sustainability and innovation, 
SAS not only recovered from the crisis but also became more resilient, competitive, and responsible. SAS demonstrated how technology and curiosity can drive better decisions and outcomes for its business, its customers, and the planet.